wrapping stocking stuffers right now. Why are they the, like the hardest to wrap out of everything? <laughs> it's always the small things. Anyway, yeah, so we're doing a little bit of Christmas wrapping. This is my organized chaos. I don't know why this is here. Probably because the Sorry, child. I don't know how bees ended up in my oh, hand. That's okay. <laughs> little fuel for a wrapping <laughs> present. <laughs> so yes, we're um, just wrapping some stuff while the hubby is occupied studying for an exam on Tuesday. Wish him luck. And we're going to decorate our tree today, hopefully, or probably Yay. just put the lights on. We'll see. I don't know. But anyway, we'll see you later. We got our tree inside, it's huge. I had to move some furniture around just to fit it in here. It's a little bit of a mess because we got all our Christmas stuff out, but look at that tree. So pretty and so big, I love it. All right, so I think we're gonna put lights on it only today so it gives it time to like kind of fall a little bit more, it's branches to fall. But yeah, that, that's it. Once again, my sweet husband is making some home improvements and building me some definitely needed shelving. So I'm super excited about that. Thank you, honey. Hang glider. Enter 80s cheesy music. <laughs> I'm making fun of my own, myself. Editing. My own editing. But you know, that was what's available, so it's fine. I love that we get to see hang gliders all the time. Oh, pretty cool. It's cool, huh, babe? Say hi. hi. Careful, buddy. All right. So I really didn't get that much footage today. I actually spent a lot of time wrapping up gifts and presents, and I had to um, wrap some for my mom because she messed up her hand, so I, I figured I might as well just wrap hers up too. I wouldn't want her to you know, feel any pain. So I did that and we actually, we actually didn't get around to, we actually didn't get around to putting lights up on the tree. Oh, side note, check out the cool city lights from down below. So we're on the top of the mountain. So we are able to see all the city lights from down below. So it's kind of cool. Anyway. Um, yeah, so we didn't get to that and I have some sad news to report actually. But before I do get into that, I want to show you these new lamps my husband put up. He put those up yesterday. I didn't think I included the, in that footage in the in the vlog. I'm sorry, I'm like super tired. It's really late. Um, but yeah, he, he put up those new sconces. I was super excited for those. So I'm sad because a couple months ago... Um, we had somebody break into our garage. We have two garages, one closer to our home up here and then one down below, um, but like closer to the street. And it it does, like the lock didn't work on it. It's replaced now, but at the time um, the lock wasn't working and somebody had broke into it twice, not once, but twice. And we couldn't figure out like what they took because it didn't seem like they took anything until now we were looking for Christmas decor and we noticed there's a lot of items missing um, and we looked everywhere and, and I know that they were down there so um, in the garage so I'm kind of bummed because I understand like you can replace material things but there were some things in there that you know they can be replaced but like the sentiments gone so like for instance my daughter's um, first uh, my daughter's Baby's first Christmas stocking was in there. Um, I had stocking holders that belonged to an aunt of mine who passed away. And there were angels, so they were very special to me. I know it's weird. I'm an eclectic witch, but even though I'm a witch, I have a huge faith in angels. I'm not religious by any means, by the way. But when it comes to angels, um, I believe in them wholeheartedly. And I even like to think and believe I believe that um in some of my work I work with Archangel Michael um 
I feel like he's a huge protector in my family's life and in, in mine. Um, Archangel Raphael healer, you know. So I, especially since I was a little kid, I've been collecting angels. Well, my angel collection for my trees are gone. So my angels were in there. My aunt's angels were in there. Uh, my baby's, uh, baby's first Christmas decor was in there. I tried to start a tradition where I read to her night, the night before, um, what is it? Night before Christmas. It was the night before Christmas. Sorry, I can't talk. I'm so tired. And I got, I got like a vintage looking book. And last year I wrote in it and I, I dated it and I put the year and that was going to be my tradition where every year the night before Christmas, I read it to her and I write down like a little tidbit of how that year went. Well, that's gone now too. And it's just, it pisses me off because it's like the person who took it, like they weren't looking for Christmas decor. They were probably just grabbing whatever they could. And, the, and you know, I didn't have it labeled. So they probably thought they scored something. But, you know, when they got home, they're probably like, oh crap, it's just Christmas decor. Well, to them it's trash. But to me it was, you know, it meant the world, you know, because of the sentiment. But Again, you know, and, and I, and like, I feel guilty, like worrying about that stuff because I know there's like, for instance, there's people who lost everything in those tornadoes that happened yesterday. So like, I don't want to dwell on it too much, but still, I think it's still kind of messed up to do that to somebody, you know what I mean? So I'm trying not to focus on it. I'm trying to move forward and, you know, be in a happy place. Um, but yeah, just it sucks, man. People, some people out there are just not cool. <sighs> anyway, um, I, I'm sorry this video is going to be a short one today. Um, on top of that news, um, I am having some TMI, TMI warning right here. <laughs> some ovulation pain. I'm in a lot of pain. I'm super nauseous. Um, this happens every month now after I had, um, gave birth to my daughter, like everything's changed. So like my PMS is different. I got different symptoms. My ovulation's different now from how it was before I had given birth. It's all different and, uh, <laughs> it sucks because like before I gave birth, I didn't have, um, when I had my PMS, like I didn't have you know, the type of symptoms that I have now. So that kind of sucks. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Well, that's actually going to do it for today's vlog. I'm sorry it was a little short, but due to the pain I was in, this is the best that we can do. <laughs> but I wanted to leave you with this. This is a protection sigil that I created that I use for myself and for my family, friends, loved ones. So um, I just wanted to leave this at the end of the video to share with you all um, if you feel so inclined to go ahead and use it. Anyway, that's going to do it for day 11. Thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.